I think that Ty is a beautiful child. She's very independent in her thinking. My main goal is acting, modeling. I want to do everything. I'm just an energetic person. So on July 16th, my daughter was involved in a situation. That's the day everything changed. I was with my friend and her girlfriend. My daughter was giving a couple of people a ride to CVS. Because I'm the only one with the car. I really don't know her girlfriend all like that, but went to the store. I stopped in my little beauty section. That person was stealing. So she tried to walk out, and then that's when they grabbed her. So I'm screaming at them, I'm pushing the dude like, what the heck? They were confronted by loss prevention. I was just shocked. Sharon pulls up the car. So then that's when we all just rushed in the car. Rihanna, she's behind me. I didn't know this. She pointed a BB gun to them, but I'm already driving off, so I didn't know. I never experienced nothing like that. I feel like I made a mistake by driving off. I was scared. I tried to go home, and then right when I went home, obviously they took my license plate. The police were outside, guns drawn. They had the gun pointed at me and everything. I was scared. One grabbed me. He was saying I was resisting, so it was like two more got on me. And that's when I went to jail, and I was just shocked. I see them taking her car away. I ran on the street, and I'm like, officer, you know, I'm looking for my daughter, Ty Sherman. He's like, oh, she's already gone. That's the day everything changed. Everything changed. It took a while to process me. It felt like probably five hours. That's when I found out my charges. Strong arm robbery. Why are they saying strong arm? Like I was really confused. I never seen the BB gun. That's what made my case more severe than what it is. I wouldn't think she would do all of that. Like, I didn't think that she had a gun. I didn't think that she was gonna go in the store and do that. I didn't, I didn't think that. My daughter had a $100,000 bill. She took $38 worth of product. Dishwashing like, detergent. What made you do that? What made you wanna put me in that type of situation when you already know that I don't steal? This is the first offense for a 20-year-old young woman who had never committed a crime before. Um, it was very confusing. I've never been in jail. My child has never done anything. That ain't who she is. I was scared, because I didn't really know what was going on. Like, I'm not a thief. She was calling me and telling me how cold she was, and knowing that I couldn't protect her. We all thought of the Sandra Blands. We all thought of, worst case scenario, you die in prison and nobody is accountable. young black women going to jail and not actually making it anywhere more than the holding cell. Children go to jail for nothing now. They die over nothing now. And that's when, it, to me, it got real. I was scared. I was depressed, I was sad, I was mad. I would have sold everything in this house. I would have sold myself in order to get her out. We went straight to the Bells Bondsman. We figured we would do whatever we got to do. Your family member's in jail. The bail's $100,000. So you come to us, in return, we charge 10%. We charge $10,000. That's our fee. That's how we make our living. We're providing you a service and we want to get paid on it. We're all hardworking, honest people. Go to work every day. But $10,000 is a lot of money. Somebody have an extra kidney? How does this work? My daughter was in jail for four days because I did not have any money. If you're locked up and afraid, bail out. In jail, need bail, call me. I'll set you free. I 
was running, ripping and running, like catching a bark to San Francisco, grabbing $100 from this person, $100 from that person. I'm calling my daddy, I'm calling my mom, calling my sister, trying to like rub two nickels together and try to get 25 cents. We were going to have to figure out whatever we had to do in order to get her out. I had to do everything but sell my soul and my body. If I wasn't bailed out, I would have lost everything. So we had to pay down payment of 2000 So we are underneath contract, 32 months for $250 a month. And if we don't do it, if you go default, then it'll turn into the 100000 So God forbid that I get sick or lose my job. We you know we've, we've got bills that have been mounting up. Registration, right now, it's like there's no way to do it. Um, got delinquency notices and insurance. Um, it's, they're too difficult right now. I have a lien on my account. We're gonna have a lot of bill collectors knocking at the door, but I'd rather that than, you know, know my child is incarcerated. Like, I can't. Because you're poor, you have to actually pay what a person of means wouldn't. The state's money-based bail system unfairly allows the wealthy to go free while the poor and working class are forced to remain in jail. At 11.41, uh, Lindsay Lohan was released from our custody and uh, she has been bailed out. Oh, goodbye $250,000, goodbye jail, I I'm, I'm out. So yeah, it is a two-tier system where the wealthy person, he can be bailed out right away. He has a financial wherewithal to get out. It's against the poor people. That's why they're in custody, because they don't have the money to bail out. I'm just hoping that this is it. I don't know if this is gonna open up new doors or if it's gonna close some doors. Cause we got this, we gonna win this. I switched lawyers. The lawyer that they gave me wouldn't fight for me. He had already determined my child's fate. He already told me that I was gonna have jail time. I had no faith that he was gonna help us. And I'm going to pray and hope that uh, I'm going to do this, that when I come back, my water is still on. And what I would be paying my water bill, I'm about to pay to the lawyers. So it probably won't be when I get home. The worst case scenario is them telling me, you have to do your time now. And I handcuff me and take me to jail at that moment. And I won't be able to go to work later. And everything is just like gone. We might have done all of this paid the $10,000 lawyer and still have to be time. And now I'm about to have a record of a felon and then I'm not even gonna be able to get a job. So how am I supposed to make money to pay this bill off? There's ways that they just scratch you out of everything. You can't vote, you can't do, you know, it's like. I told my daughter, if she's not even gonna be able to work at Burger King, you wanna register. That's scary to me. The fact that my child can be in a situation where she doesn't even have a future. Wasn't it Department 7? He was the... Seven or nine. You got any cash on you? Any cash? He just told you to go in? I um, ended up paying, um, how much did I just pay? Uh, uh, 88. 
on it and I know I was supposed to pay 200 and I need to make another payment, but I'm just reporting this payment and I, and I know it was asking me whether it was shut off or I didn't know. I'm not at home, so. Let me see how much I got in here. This is just so bad, like. I have $71 on my account. I don't have that, so I don't have that. So they didn't already cut it off. I've never been in a situation where I can't pay my bills. This is gonna like have me in the streets. <sighs> I'm not saying that she should get away scot-free with anything, but the penalty should meet the crime. It should fit the crime. So I guess she's done. Let me find out what happened with her. Craig, we're good to go. Yeah, we, we got good? a date of September 28th. We've got an offer. Like I said, I think it's a good offer. I'm gonna push for something better, um, but as a fallback position. My daughter's case was dropped down to nothing. I mean, this is watering down to be a misdemeanor disturbing the peace, but this is $18,000 later. Okay. So, so I'll be talking to Heather Chang between now and then. And, okay. Uh, that's where we're going to go. Okay, did you bring that $100 budget? Yeah, 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 I got it. Okay. Yep, got it. All right. I don't get my money back. You still got to pay that off. Because I'm poor, I, I have to pay it. It makes no sense. And this money is gone. Forever. Eight thousand dollars for lawyer and ten thousand dollar bill. That's college. That's college tuition. I gotta wait for school. I need to be a full time worker right now to pay off my bill. So to charge us ten thousand dollars just to come back to court is utterly ridiculous. When they say it's the land of the free, it's like one of the bigger lies that they tell us. And if you want to have the perceived notion of innocence, you need to pay it. The whole purpose of bail was to give an individual who's been arrested and accused, but who's presumed innocent, a way to get out of jail. If you gotta pay $100,000 waiting to prove an innocent, no, you're, you're, you're guilty. You have to produce that money to prove your innocence. And that's just the first step. They're taking our money for what? The bail system doesn't make us any safer. If you're a person of little means, you don't have a chance. You don't have a chance. If it wasn't for the money bail system, Ty would be in college right now instead of $18,000 in debt. There are lots of alternatives to holding a human being in a cage because she can't make a payment. Other cities have eliminated the money bail system and it's working great for them. You know, I don't understand why we don't have that here in California. Anybody who looks at the reality of what's going on will support this unless they have a personal financial stake in the current dysfunctional system. The only people that benefit from money bail is the insurance companies and the bail's bondsmen. In New York City, nonviolent suspects will no longer need to post bail. Criminal justice reform plan here in Connecticut. San Francisco's bail system is unconstitutional. It's calling the bail system unfair. Eliminate bail requirements. Bail reform. Bail reform. Getting rid of bail. The system could be coming to an end. Bail reform is a civil rights issue. Bail reform is a human rights issue. Bail reform is a national crisis that's hidden in plain sight.